So let's graph the equation y equals 2x plus 1. We'll also look at the slope and the y-intercept. So we'll first use a table of values, then do slope-intercept form. So I'll just make some values up for x. I like to start with 0 here, because 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is just 1. How about 1? 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1, that's 3. And how about negative 1? 2 times negative 1, negative 2. And negative 2 plus 1 is just negative 1. So these are the points that we're going to graph here for the equation y equals 2x plus 1. So we start out with x is 0, y is 1, x is 0, y is 1, x is 1, y is 3. We could do it with two points. Probably better to use 3 in case we made an error. x is negative 1 and y is negative 1 right there. That's our line. Let's put a line through that. Then we'll put arrows to show it goes to infinity. That's the graph for y equals 2x plus 1. And you could put any value in for x, you get a value for y, and that point, that'd be somewhere on our line. Let's use slope-intercept form now. So y equals mx plus b, and b, that's the y-intercept. So 1 is where we're going to intercept the y-axis. That's right here. So that's our first point. Then for the slope of 2, let's just call that 2 over 1, because then we can call this rise over run. We go to our y-intercept, we rise 1, 2, we run 1 right there. Rise 1, 2, run 1, and we can keep going. Even go in the opposite direction if you go down 1, 2, then the left, opposite direction there, there's another point. Go down 1, 2, to the left, another point. So we have our y-intercept is 1, and our slope is 2, but we're calling it 2 over 1, so we can use rise over run. And that is it. That's how you graph the linear equation y equals 2x plus 1. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.